Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video for Call of Duty World War 2. Yes, I'm so pumped for this game. I've been hearing more info on it and there's been some more leaks and I'm even more excited. <laughs> it's slowly getting more and more pumped and hyped. Uh, the full reveal will happen on the 26th of April. Expect a big breakdown of the trailer on Wednesday as well. I can't wait to see it in action. Hopefully it's gameplay, um, I hope, because some of these images look quite generic. If that's the graphics, great, but they look like they're sort of photographs almost. So hopefully the game looks gorgeous. I hope, fingers crossed. And um, yeah, anyway. So when the game gets released and it goes through a sort of promo cycle, trying to get pre-orders, they send out promo material. And this is it. This is for like a game store. And someone's taking a sneaky little picture. I mean, look at those boots and those, those shorts. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so that is the guy. He's taking a picture of the promo material. And there's quite a bit of info on it here. The first big one is a private beta for Call of Duty. It's all over the promo. Nice big letters, a private beta. The only downside to me, you had the pre of the game. Oh. I mean, people want to like try the game out, see if they like it, and then pre-order. Not pre-order beforehand. So they're really sort of forcing you to pre-order, which is a, a bit unfortunate. Obviously, people like myself and other YouTubers will obviously pre-order the game. Get the private beta and you guys can see the gameplay in action, but still, it's uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know why people do that. Do a public beta. Do a public beta, let everyone try your game. If they like it, they will buy it, I'm sure. Next up, we have the release date for the game. 3rd November 2017, right at the end of the year, and the first Friday of November. So, it's it's not too far away. It's it's it's, it's sort of touching distance. It's, we'll, get, we'll get there soon. Time breezes past, but still. Um, it's a little way off, of course, but that's a typical Call of Duty release date. I'm sure you can tell there, there's a big, big bunch of text. Um, so yeah, we're going to run down and have a quick look at that. Uh, also about the beta, I imagine it will come out on PS4 first. Uh, the box art does confirm everyone who has the PS4 version will, will get the DLC first on PS4. So it's like 30 days early access to the DLC, which could be quite... Could be quite big, because if this game is is feet on the ground again, and it does well, and Sony has exclusive rights to the DLC for 30 days, that could be massive. And here's the text, nice and blown up. Thank you to Charlie Intel on Twitter. I saw you uh, tweeted it, and I was like, yes, I can finally read the text. Right, Call of Duty returns to its roots with Call of Duty World War II. Oh, yes. A breathtaking experience that redefines World War II. Wow, there's been a lot of World War II games. Uh, some games I, I, I love, so that's the best a big statement for a new gaming generation. Land in Normandy. <gasps> what? We land in Normandy on D-Day. Oh, man. I, if they pull this off and make this just... Oh, it's going to be awesome. Anyway, a battle across Europe through iconic locations in history. In history's most mental war. Experience classic Call of Duty combat, the bonds of camaraderie, and the unforgiving nature of war against a global power throwing the world into tyranny. Hitler and the Nazis. Naughty folk. Um, yeah, so that's great. D-Day, Normandy confirmed. Obviously, seen a lot of images already of the Normandy landings. And yeah, to be confirmed is great. And also the fact we have feet on the ground. Yes. The definitive World War II campaign. This is what I'm really excited about, actually. The single player campaign. I'm playing this day one, definitely. The first thing I click on is single player. A World War II story told again on the current gen consoles. Yes, that is cool. Right, Call of Duty World War II tells the story of an unbreakable brotherhood of common men fighting to preserve the freedom in the world on the brink of tyranny. Players enlist in a gritty, intense journey through the battlegrounds of war. The campaign features bold, lifelike visuals and the kind of blockbuster, cinematic authenticity that only Call of Duty can deliver. I probably said that completely wrong, but whatever. I mean, Battlefield 1, can they, can they really beat those visuals? Obviously, that is World War One, but that's still... That, that's a statement. Boots on the ground multiplayer. Call of Duty World War II multiplayer engages players in grounded... Grounded. <laughs> they stay on the ground. Fast-paced combat, which is now obviously confirmed as well. Uh, across many of World War II's most iconic locations. Players will also enjoy exciting new ways to interact and socialise with their friends and the Call of Duty community. So that's obviously confirmed... Multiplayer will be feet, feet on the ground. Not going to move. None of these sort of jetpack things that apparently Germany's invented or something. It's all feet on the ground. Thank God. And let's mention about a co-op mode. What could this be? I don't know. Because they sort of mention a story 
Um, also, it's it's going to be four players, I would imagine. What what is it? Is it zombies? Is it a sort of separate co-op adventure, like a story? I don't know. Call of Duty World War Two co-op mode unleashes a new original story. Play with your friends in this next level standalone game experience, full of unexpected adrenaline pumping moments. So is that is that zombies? It doesn't sound like zombies, but is it zombies? I I don't know. Hmm. What do you guys think? I think it might be something separate, actually. I don't think it's going to be zombies. It might be. I don't know. I think it's like an actual co-op World War II story experience, not zombies. Are we st but zombies is massive, though. They have to do zombies again. I don't know. I, I'm just... I, I'm very indecisive. It just sounds like it's more of a story than a zombies. But zombies does have a little bit of a story in it, so... But from that piece of text, it all sounds very, very positive. Feet on the ground, fast-paced combat. The campaign sounds awesome. Normandy, D-Day, battles, real-life iconic locations. Sounds awesome. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. Leave a like on this video. I'll see you guys soon on Wednesday, the 26th of April, for the full reveal trailer. Yes.